guys going? What's going on? True. guys still what's going on i hope you're doing fine today i'm looking at the gold daily and weekly and the mighty king dollar daily and weekly let's talk with the king according to the weekly time frame we, we already concluded to we thought two was here but it turns to be here now i think this is two so we've been bottoming now for the last one, two, three, four, we're gonna start the fifth week to next uh, next week next Monday this Monday. So uh, usually it takes weeks after after flush like that. But I think we all we're almost there. Maybe 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 we seen the bottom. Maybe we bottom here from ninety two and a half to ninety four and a half for the next five weeks. I think it's almost there. This, the bear sentiment is is crazy. You know what happened? They got them. They thought the dollar would go to the Esser. It didn't. This is the daily time frame for the mighty king we made. I tweeted the other day. Before I start, please uh, like if you like my video. Subscribe if you want to subscribe, please. Don't be passive. I turned cold to twitter and to linkedin no more i'm not going to be posting no more there because i didn't get any response if 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 i if i get less response here i think i'm gonna i'm gonna take off i'm not gonna post anymore so please if you like my videos don't be passive don't take me for granted please don't take me for granted if you like my videos please please like subscribe and share going back to the daily time frame so this is Friday action, Thursday action, Wednesday action, Tuesday action. Here we made a new low and we hit the, the, the lower end of the Bollinger Band. I tweeted, if we close above this Bollinger, Bollinger Band, we will do a mean reversion, which is usually the 20 day moving average. So we did that. So after that, one day later, we have a bullish engulfing, which is, which is a, a very nice reversal Japanese candle. And we ha we have another another bullish candle because we, it was resting here, it was not it was not a reversal candle, and we we found sellers at the ten and twenty last time, and this time we have another beautiful bullish engulfing, that closed over the ten and the twenty, which is really really good. Now we go in for the upper end of the Bollinger Band, then we might go go through a pipe formation during the bottoming processing. So it's going to be another pipe formation. Then volatility, according to Elliott Wave, the next move is up, up, up. The bottom is in. The bottom is in. The bottom is in. Hopefully, I think so. I really believe so. So now, this is what happened with the flush of, of the mismanagement, supposedly, of the COVID-19. This is the government trying to get more re uh, recovery and help for the, for the people. It, it, it screwed the dollar. Now, dollars bottom and two bullish engulfings back to back with closing over the 20 day moving average, which is very, very good. And now we, we're closing over the downtrend line now, too. So, a lot, of, a lot of bullish developments in the dollar and the weekly and daily time frame. Now we go to the gold. This is GLD, the gold ETF. And uh, as I tweeted before, and I still think we go, we went through one, two, and one, two now, and we get it go through three later. I think this is a, th this is definitely a bullish rami. Most likely, we're gonna have an up lake next week. Then we're gonna have another down move. And, and and even if you don't look at the price action, just watch the volume, the trading volume. It's 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 it's, it's crazy. It's scary. It's distribution. The, the big boys are bailing out. Look at the updates. Uh, contrary to the, the down days, 
big, big volume. Today was not a high volume, which is not good for the bullish, uh, for the bullish uh, scenario because you had a quasi duji here. You would love to have a uh, high volume for the duji to be very bullish because this is reversal supposedly. This is duji, white candle, it makes bullish around me. So you would you would have wanted a high volume here, but didn't you didn't have volume. So not enough demand, but not enough supply either. So that's why you had that doji. So uh, this is the daily time frame, and uh, if we think about it, even in the, according to Elliot, we concluded B here, and we're going through one, two, one, two, and three. Then I think the next move, it's going to be uh, the demand area. I have to run a Fibonacci uh, retracement from here to here. I think there was 62 uh, Feb retracements, so we have other retracements we could run from here to here. We could we could look at the uptrend line, which might be here, and we, we connect this high to this high, and we have another line. So, uh, but I really don't recommend any buying, any dip of buying now at all, at all. This is this is a major, major correction, that's for sure. According to Elliot, this is the top for sometimes. And it's it's even worse than this flush because this flush you have the high volume, and you retested the, the high with almost equal high higher high, then you flushed. This one, you retested the high in a very slim volume, and you failed here. As I tell, this is a crack, and I posted a video. This is this is a bad crack, even though you had rejection here, but you don't want this hanging man. In, in, in uh, an up move and sure enough this happened then you have another try then yeah this happened okay this is the daily time frame so that there's nothing nothing bullish about it except a bullish rami that you might have another high next week but i don't think i don't think it's going to be a major uh, game changer you could run Fibonacci extension, uh, Fibonacci retracement from here to here, and you will, you, you, you most likely will find the uh, supply in the Fibonacci uh, retracement. So please don't buy. Okay, this is the daily time frame. This is the weekly time frame, and we see it's very obvious now how these, uh, this is a bearish engulfing in a weekly time frame, very ugly with high volume. Now you have an almost uh, an inverted hammer. But it's not a really an inverted hammer because you need you need the long, bad down leg. It's a rejection. I don't know what you call that 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 candle. Some people call it inverted hammer. I I, I don't I don't classify that an inverted, inverted hammer. I think rejection from the upside and close uh, red candle. You might have uh, an up move next week because you have a higher low. So I'm trying to take, get the, some of the bullishness here. You have the gap filled here. And yeah, it's true, as I said, you, you might have a, an up day next week, and you did have a couple of days. Then you went back, you sold off. Another thing, uh, in the weekly time frame, I ran, uh, I, I looked at the stochastic in the weekly time frame. Every time you get to overbought and you stay for a month, then you go down below 80. It, it sparks uh, a rejection, except one time. So it, it, it made an overbought over a month 11 times only one time did not spark uh, a correction so it's almost uh, 93 percent of the times so we have 93 percent chance that we will have a correction so if you want to buy into a correction this is not a smart idea at all so forget about gold for at least next month don't try to to put your thesis, because uh, you have 93% chance, you, you, will have a, uh, you will have a correction at least. Uh, Iliad wave uh, assumes a top. But I'm trying to be open-minded, so I'm saying a correction. So you had a correction here. You had a correction here. That was a correction. You had a correction here. That was a correction. You, uh, this one was didn't stay for a month, so that's not a correction. So you stay over a month, correction. You stayed over a month. Correction. So, uh, in conclusion, in the daily, weekly time frame, you have maybe 
uh, an up move uh, on Monday, Tuesday, but not it, not not that much. So for the retail investor, or even the portfolio managers, if you, if I have any portfolio manager listening to me, don't hold to gold. Uh, it's not an advice. I'm just it's it's an opinion. Don't hold to gold the next two months. It's not good. And I think the dollars is is, is going to. It's got it, it already bottomed and it's in the process of the couple of weeks then boom up like and hopefully after this COVID-19 thing uh, beautiful cities like New York will come back again will really relive its glory because it's a beautiful city it's New York it's the New York City it's gonna be it's gonna come back where rhythm and muscle I swear to God it's a New York City rhythm running through my life. Please like, subscribe, share, please. I don't want to turn cold here, please. Love you guys. This goes forever.